Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. Today we are going to be playing with Stampin' Blends. These are our alcohol markers. There are so many things you can do with them. This video is part of the Totally Techniques Design Team Blog Hop and of course you know this blog hop is all about techniques. Today everybody's going to be using the Stampin' Blend markers. You are going to get a whole bunch of ideas how to use these markers. And I'm going to be showing you a really cool technique that's fairly new to the stamping world with Stampin' Up! Blends. So let's flip the camera around and I will show you how to make this really cool looking card. I'm going to bring in my card stock. I've got a piece of Pretty Peacock. This is one of our retiring in colors and that retirement list just hit the pavement <laughs> this week. So you want to check that out. We have some things that are up to 75% off. At the end of the video, there's going to be a link to take you right over to my blog. If you're in the United States, you can go over there and you'll find the retirement list and you can look through all the goodies. I've got two pieces of our basic white cardstock. One is a little bit smaller at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. One is a little bit bigger at four and a or four by five and a quarter. That's going to be our inside layer. And by the way, this was five and a half by eight and a half. I've also got a scrap of pretty peacock, and then a piece of our vellum cardstock. This is five by four and a half inches. Oh, and this piece, this is one and three eighths by five and a half. So that's kind of important too. I saw that edge was just a little bit ratty. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. I'm going to be using cinnamon cider ink and pretty peacock ink. And then for my cards today, I decided to bring in the so much happy. This is such a fun bundle. This is retiring with our annual catalog, but you've got so many different elements, two different sizes of balloons. You've got this element, which makes really cool clouds and a banner and a balloon string and a bow and some stars, and then some embossing elements and this happy die, which just makes me happy. Now I'm just gonna stamp, well, no, we're gonna get started. Let's get started right away on the technique. I was gonna say I was gonna stamp up the inside, but we're gonna do the technique first. So this is a technique using alcohol. And um, I've done, I, I had to practice a lot to figure out what I was doing because I had never done alcohol ink this way. But you wanna make sure that your ink, your ink, your alcohol, you wanna make sure that your alcohol is um, a very high content. I had one bottle of alcohol that was like 70% or something like that. That didn't work out well, and I'll show you what happened to that um, after we do this. I'll show you the results of using that strength of alcohol. This one is 91%. I would even go higher if you can find it. This was just the highest alcohol content I could find, and this is just isopropyl alcohol, okay? And then the vellum card stock is the key to this. And I'm going to bring in Stampin' Blends. Now I've got Granny Apple Dark, I've got Dark Bermuda Bay, and Dark Cinnamon Cider. You could use Pretty Peacock too, that would be fine. These are my three colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our layer of vellum, you're gonna use the coloring tip on your marker and you're just going to fill this layer up with the alcohol marker. And I'm just using these three colors. These really spoke to me. I like the way they turned out. And um, I think that the background I'm gonna make, while I'm not using a, uh, like a Sea Life stamp set, it certainly would be gorgeous with like the sand and sea or the, um, there's a, there's a seahorse on one of the sets that's retiring also as I was going through my list today. I was pretty sad. <laughs> but um, any type of sea life, this is going to be beautiful. Now we're going to make a masculine card, a masculine birthday card out of it. So you'll have several different ideas. And I also have um, a sample. Oh, let's see. I'm going to go a little bit right here. I also have a sample using some other colors that I'll show you because I always like to see a variety. 
I'm just going to come back in here, fill this in a little bit. You want to kind of cover your whole piece. Okay, then I brought in my water painters. And now with the water painters, you get three of them in a set. You get a very wide brush. You get a very small brush. And then you get a medium brush. And we're going to be using the medium one. Now, I filled this up with um, the alcohol already. One little tip about these, they, they, the lid comes off opposite of what you would normally turn something, right? When you turn something to open it, you do lefty-loosey. And then when you tighten it, you do righty-tighty or lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Yeah, I think that's the way it goes. <laughs> But this one is backwards, so I'm thinking that a man made this because you know how their buttons and their zippers are different than women's clothing? Yeah, I'm thinking that a man made this, so don't be alarmed by that. It was very strange trying to get this open the first time. I'm going to take a little bit of my alcohol. Now, I've got a tissue here just kind of to catch any thing that's going to come out, spill. I'm just going to put a little bit of alcohol in the lid here. Because what I found when I was using the water painters, I wanted it to be a little bit more liquid than what I can actually hold in the end of this tip. So this, this worked out really well. You're going to dip your brush in the alcohol and it's very, very wet. And I am just going to go around and I'm going to tap this on my brown layers the cinnamon cider. And what it does is it breaks down the alcohol on the vellum and just makes it look very watercolory. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. But you'll see that some of the color comes off on the brush. So you don't want to be brushing it around. I did that on one and it just smeared all my colors together and it was not attractive at all. <laughs> Like I said, I played around with this for quite a while, so you get the element of my experience with this, so you don't have to do so much experimenting. Okay, so this is pretty darn wet, right? I'm going to just wipe this off. I've got alcohol in here so I can push a little bit down into that brush and keep wiping it off until it's clean. You can take this and rinse it out in your sink, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to take my little tissue here and I'm going to dab a little bit. I've seen other people take a straw and blow these soppy edges back up. And that's kind of a cool look too. And of course, whatever you want to do. But look at how very unique that is. And this is why I said I thought this would be beautiful with some sea shells or something like that. A ocean scene. The whale, that would look good with it too. thought it was very, very pretty. Okay, once I have that done, because I got so much color in my little um, lid of alcohol here, I'm just going to, I just wiped it out. And I'm going to put a little bit more in here. And now I'm going to take my water painter. Oh, hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. You can set this aside to let it dry or you can hit it with a heat gun. And as you can see, it dries fairly quickly for as much liquid as we put on here. I'm just turning it over to flatten it down a little bit because it, it, it is vellum and it will curl up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to add some alcohol and I'm going to just flick it like this. And this is going to give it, let me see if I can put something on here. My other ones didn't curl up quite like this, so let me... I'm going to do a little bit of, whoops, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. There we go. I'm just going to put, splash some more. And I 
make it just a little bit more in here. There we go. I got it. Look at how cool that looks, you guys. Isn't that just the neatest thing? Yeah. Okay. We're going to just let this dry for a little bit, and we will pour that back into my bottle. I probably have that off camera, but I just poured it back in there. It wasn't discolored in any way. And now we're going to do the inside of our card. So I said I had two basic white layers here. We want to do the larger one for the inside. And like I said, I'm using the So Much Happy stamp set. So I've got some sentiments mounted here. Happy to celebrate you. And I'm going to stamp the top in the pretty peacock. And I've got them spread out enough that I can use two different colors here. This is cinnamon cider. And then I'm just going to stamp this. And I'm not going to stamp it in the middle because we're going to put a little edge on this, on this piece. Oh, are we really? I think I'm going to need to cut this down. We can do that too. So I'm going to stamp it kind of off to the side like this. Hang on, I'm going to trim this. I just trimmed this down to three and three quarters by five because that's what our little um, edge piece is gonna be at, is five inches. Okay, so three and three quarters by five, and the other piece was three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, here comes our card base. We've got our white layer. Here is our alcohol layer, and that does look dry now, so that's pretty neat. I should have just brought my paper trimmer in here. Now I'm going to cut this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down so that it is three and three quarters inches long. Okay. I specifically specifically left an extra three quarters of an inch on the edge so I could use this on my inside layer. Here comes our inside layer. Now, what I found worked really good with this is the Stamp and Seal Plus. I like Stamp and Seal Plus, and I just ran it right down the vellum. The alcohol or liquid causes it to curl just a little bit. So if you use a nice adhesive tape runner like this, it's not going to give you any problems and you really don't see it through the front. I'm going to fold over my, I got a little bit off the edge here so I'm just folding that over so it doesn't stick out when I put it on my card. You, you do better. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to put this right over along the edge of my inside layer. And I'm just leaving a little bit of white over there. And oh my gosh, look how stunning that is, right? It's so pretty. This can go right on the inside of our card now. Add this right in here. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, then we're going to take this one and put it on that other white layer. And this was the white layer that is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. And again, I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus, and I'm going to try to stay inside the edge of my vellum cardstock, right? Oh, hang on. This stuff is super sticky, so you want to be mindful of that. And that's why I like it so much. And it comes out of the dispenser so well. This is the stamp and seal plus. Well, now it's going to make a layer out of me. There it goes. Okay, so I've got it all around the edge. Now you want to be careful when you put this on because you don't get a second shot with it. It needs to be straight the first time. And I'm just looking at this edge and my bottom edge and going for the gold. Look at how stunning that is. Isn't it just beautiful? I love this so much. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that scrap of pretty peacock and we're going to put the happy die on it and we're going to run it through our die cutting machine. Hang tight. Here comes our little happy and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on my card like this. So I need to add some adhesive to the back and I think liquid glue is a good choice. Oops. Just 
put a couple little dots on the letters. You don't need to get too crazy with it. It's not going any place. And I'm just going to add this right about here. Oh, I want to pull that over a little bit. There we go. And we're just going to trim this off on the back. Now, I wanted to tell you guys, if you're in the U.S., I do have about four of these I have four card kits that are still left from a class that I held with the So Much Happy bundle of products. And I even have a couple of the stamp sets and dies that you can add on. So the class is $49. And you will get, I'll show you in just a minute, all the products that come with it. And then you can choose to add on the stamp set and the dies, the bundle, if you would like to. Oops, hang on a second. Okay. Here is that class. We've got the Playing With Patterns ribbon. You can add on the bundle, the Playing With Patterns resin dots, the Playing With Patterns 6x6 designer series paper. Oh, more dots. You only get one pack of dots. And you get the cardstock cut up for eight total cards, you get to make two each of four designs. So if anybody is interested, I will put a link on my blog to where you can find this card kit to order it. Like I said, I've got about four left if you're interested, but card kits are so much fun. I do all the heavy work for you. I cut up all the pieces and it's really nice. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we are going to take a scrap of basic white, and I'm gonna bring in, now you could use any sentiment that you want. On the inside in here it says, happy to celebrate you. So I am going to get out my birthday stamp. Hang on just a second, I didn't realize that I didn't have that on a block. I'm gonna go with the birthday. I'm gonna put this right on the bottom edge with the pretty peacock ink. That looks pretty darn straight. We're gonna trim that. It's easier to stamp it this way and then trim it than it is to try to stamp it on a really little piece, right? Because this is not a photopolymer stamp set, it's a red rubber stamp set. So this just makes it a lot easier. That's what I've done here. I'm gonna take my snips and I'm going to cut this, oops, hang on, at an angle. Now, I brought in the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. You get this beautiful, like, weaved ribbon in vanilla and then this gold cording, which I absolutely love. Both of these come together. They are also retiring. So what I did is I took this and I'm gonna wind it up so I've got just kind of a circle like this, kind of wound it around two fingers. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the seal to the back of this layer. Make sure you keep it on there too. I got a little carried away there. Okay, and make sure I got this right set up so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's always helpful. I'm gonna add this to my little sentiment layer and then I like to kind of mess it up just a little bit. Right, because I don't want it to look too uniform. Pulled that one. There we go. Well, it doesn't usually give me this hard of a time, but you guys are watching me, so. <laughs> right? Okay, then I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And I'm going to actually over-dimensional it just so that it that tape doesn't stick to my card that's in the middle here. The seal, I don't want that to stick to my card. I want this to stay popped up nice. Here comes my little sentiment. And I think I'll put this at an angle with the happy. And then I've got some of our gilded gems. And oh, I just love that we have all of these coordinating products, right? I've got a large one, a small one, and a medium one. 
So they come in three different sizes. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. There we go. Okay, what do you guys think? Isn't that just so very pretty? So I'll show you some other ones that I made. This one, whoo, that is bright, right? <laughs> This was made with pumpkin pie and the dark magenta madness, dark pumpkin pie and magenta madness. And I used basic white with magenta ink right here. I did the same thing on the inside. I just made sure that my vellum was about three quarters of an inch wider so I could cut that off to put in here. And then I also told you I was gonna show you all of my disasters. So this is with the, the alcohol that it it has less of a concentration of alcohol in it. I think it was about 70%. I could not get this to lay flat to save my to save myself at all. Um, this uses the same colors as this one. Okay, so same colors, but it just didn't work out well. This was another one I tried, and look at how this curled up. Like <laughs> it curled right up. And then I tried. I tried this with the browns and the blues, and I thought that was really, really pretty. But again, I had that other alcohol. So I had to run to the store and get some new alcohol because I figured that was kind of the problem. When you're putting alcohol or water, higher a higher um, water content on paper, things just don't go well, unless it's watercolor paper. So here's one with the higher concentration of alcohol. I use Granny Apple Green and the Magenta. This one uses Granny Apple Green and the Light Peacock. I thought that was pretty. I forgot to flick the little dots on it. And this one used the Dark Peacock and Dark Magenta. And yeah, what do you guys think? I think this is so fun. Like the sky's the limit on this. And this color combination just said man card to me. So that's why I made a masculine birthday card. And then I wanted to try some brighter, different colors, and that's where the pumpkin pie and the magenta together came in, and I thought that turned out really pretty, too. Now, don't forget, I have a kit available. I've got about four of these left with the So Much Happy. If you click right up here, that's going to take you over to my blog. You're going to find the link in this blog post to... Um, where my online classes are. You're gonna scroll down until you see the So Much Happy. It's gonna show you this stamp set and that's where you can purchase this kit. But they're super fun and the cards are adorable. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. Make sure you click on the link so you can head over to my blog. You're gonna find a list after you go back past my projects here, you'll find a list of other design team members and you can click on their projects and it's going to take you to their blog where you can see what they did with the alcohol markers. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Please remember the retirement list is out. Don't miss that. Up to 75% off on some of those products. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.